I'm Lauren Ritchie from Waffle TV, sponsored by Nice Beer, and today we're talking to writer and performer Janine Davis. Hello. And we're discussing her new play, Double Booked. Yeah, it's called, yes. it's called Double Booked. Yes. Yeah. So how are you today? I'm fine, I'm a bit tired. I've just been to see a show and fell asleep. Oh. <laughs> That's what the fringe does to you. I know. <laughs> yeah, but I got it on a pass, so that was okay. <laughs> so tell us about the show. Double Booked is, uh, well actually it's not a new show, it's a play that came and sold out in 2010. But I am a parent. I write as a parent and when my kids got to about 15, I saw the funny side. And I also am a late developer and so I started writing when my children were about 15. And I'm now, I think, I'm the oldest person performing at the French who isn't famous. So I write these plays all about family life because I suddenly realised it was funny. And after I'd done that, Outnumbered and Dub, um, Bridget Jones started writing their stuff and they found that it was funny too and I think they probably got the idea from me. So they're influenced by you, which is I'm great. Sure they are. Yes, I'm sure they've never said that, but they probably don't want to be mobbed. <laughs> so it's based on personal experiences with your own children? It's inspired by, I, uh, and I'm not going to say my own children, I see other people's children, I hear stories, that's the greatest thing. People come up to me, mothers come up to me, they roll their eyes and they say, oh, I can't believe what the children have done today, and I think they'll tell me, go and tell me. And what I then do is sneak off and go to the play. Is everyone a bit weary around you? Like, oh. Very. Yeah. Like, oh, actually, I have no friends. <laughs> but so, oh, whatever I see, might be in our next play. Yes, but I'm very careful. I don't give anything away. And you've been very busy. You've got two plays on right now. Yeah, I have. Because after I wrote Double Booked, which came here in 2010, I then wrote another episode about the same characters. Basically, I've created a family called the Rich Family because they're quite rich. And there is a mother, father, and three children. And their children are about the same age as my own. Um, and as their children have got older, so have mine. And so funny as stories have come about children who are just a slightly bit older. So now I'm writing about children who are about 17, 16, around that age. And they are hilarious because they have just a tiny little strand of independence which makes them run wild. <laughs> and you play all of the characters yourself. Yeah, I did double boots. Yeah. And you do a lot of accents, don't you? I, I, I do accents. I've got to basically distinguish myself from myself. So one minute I've got to be a 16 year old boy, next minute I've got to be his granny, next minute I've got to be his dad, his friend, his friend's mother, who is very thin, has a 34 double D cup chest. <laughs> and I don't use prosthetics, I just, um, you know, pretend and speak and use different body language and it's quite fun. I observe men and how they stand. There's a man around here now, over there, just slightly off shot or off camera. Yes. And uh, he's not standing like a girl would stand at all, if you look oh. at him, is he? He's got, he's got his hands in his pocket. Oh, now he is! He's on, oh, he's standing like a girl now. He's on one leg. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but men don't, what, girls don't wipe their noses like that, do they? No. <laughs> so, but yeah. that shows an incredible skill in acting to do, to portray so many different people, I must say. Well, well, you'd have to come and see the show to say that. <laughs> just a, a great feat of daring to attempt it, but I don't, you know, if it's skillful or not, that's up to people to say when they've seen it. So why do you keep returning to the fringe? Uh, uh, because I think it's the, it's the biggest stage, and I need space as a one woman. <laughs> no, it's nice. I think I came up here the very first time as an adventure. I was left some money and I thought I want to buy something that I can never lose, I can never look at to make me sad, it can just be a memory that's within me. And that was the reason why I came the first time. The second time I came because I wanted to repeat that feeling. The third time I came because I thought, actually, I want some other people, I want more people to see my plays. I'd like to perform beyond Edinburgh, I'd like to perform around the country. So my specific aim here now is to get my plays shown to as many people as I can. So is that your future plans, to get that, get all your yeah. plays out there? Yes, I do. I do actually double book to something fishy, although they each stand alone, they're on alternate days. And the aim is that beyond Edinburgh, I'll put them both on, on a, in a one-man, one-night show, so that I can do two halves in one evening. So, um, something fishy is your new show? The, yeah. Yes, something fishy I've written since I've written Double Booked. Is that doing better than Double Booked, would you say? Like, how are the audience? Funnily enough, Double Booked is still doing better. Oh. I'm surprised by that. I would have thought that the new material would do better, given that it turns out there are a lot of people who are back in Edinburgh who saw me three years ago. Yeah. But actually, returning. Double Booked is still doing better, even though something fishy has a five-star review yeah. from 
uh, it's Buxton Fringe. Buxton Fringe is lovely and it's got a five star review. But even despite that, double bill. I think a lot of people think they need to see double bill first, but they yeah. don't. You, don't. you can see them in any order, you don't have to see one. Check out them. something fishy as well. As yeah, well as definitely. double bill. I would. So, and your son's got a show on right now. I know. It's a very busy family. Yeah, <laughs> well, it's kind of quirky because we write about families and my son's. Uh, play is entitled Daughters. He's on Space at Surgeon's Hall. He starts actually on the 19th and he writes a very dark side, uh, about a very dark side of family life. I, I see the funny side of it. He sees the dark side, <laughs> which makes me worry about being his parent. But um, he's got a fantastic cast. They're drawn from play performers who perform in the old Royal Shakespeare Company. They're in the National Youth Theatre. He and uh, the girl in his cast both um, played uh, parts in BBC Radio 4's The Archers. So they are so talented. They're brimming with talent. And they've got this fantastic play, which is just, it's a very classic play about <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's a very classic <laughs> play about the dark side of family life, Dis disaffected youth, lost youth, kids getting just slightly disoriented in their process towards growing up. Well, your show, Double Booked, is on at the Pleasance Courtyard. Yes. Is something fishy on this Double there? Booked and Something Fishy are on alternate days at yeah, Pleasance yeah. Courtyard. It's easy to remember because Double Booked is on the odd number of dates and Something Fishy is on even number of dates, both at 12.40. Yeah. <laughs> Daughters is on at Space at Surgeons Hall at 7.20, starting on the 19th. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. This has been Marvel TV.